Hello anatomy students! In this video I'm going to explain the major veins that drain the tissues and organs of the lower limbs and the direction of blood flow through them. Similar to the upper limbs, there are an abundance of both superficial and deep veins that drain blood from the lower limbs to the heart. The superficial veins, located just under the skin, form extensive anastomoses with each other and with the deep veins below them. The deep veins, in contrast, are found closer to bone and muscle and are often located near arteries having the same name. Let's begin our tour with the deep veins, starting with the feet. The plantar digital veins, located on the soles of the feet, Drain blood from the toes into the plantar metatarsal veins that run along the metatarsal bones of the foot. The plantar metatarsals merge into the deep plantar venous arches, which drain into the medial and lateral plantar veins, which empty into the posterior tibial vein. All of these veins drain blood from the skin, muscles, and bones on the plantar surfaces of the foot. The posterior tibial veins begin on the plantar surface of the foot and ascend through the posterior leg deep to the soleus muscle of the calf. They then join the anterior tibial veins to form the popliteal veins. The posterior tibials drain the skin, muscles, and bones from the posterior and lateral aspects of the leg. The fibular, or perineal veins, drain blood from the lateral compartment of the leg where the fibularis, or peroneus muscles, are located, and empty into the posterior tibial veins. The anterior tibial veins originate in the dorsal venous arches, located on the dorsum, or top, of the foot, and ascend deep to the tibialis anterior muscle. They join the posterior tibial veins to form the popliteal veins. The anterior tibials drain the dorsum of the foot, ankle joint, anterior aspect of the leg, knee joint, and tibiofibular joint. The popliteal veins, located in the posterior knee, are formed by the union of the anterior and posterior tibial veins. The popliteals come to an end when they pass to the front of the knee and become femoral veins. The popliteals drain the knee joint and skin, and the muscles and bones around the knee joint. The femoral veins are deep continuations of the popliteal veins just superior to the knee. They ascend deep to the sartorius muscle of the thigh. Femoral refers to the femur, or the thigh bone, and then emerge at the proximal end of the thigh. They then enter into the abdominopelvic region to become the external iliac veins. The femorals drain the skin, lymph nodes, muscles, and bones of the thigh, as well as the external genitals. The external iliac veins are deep veins of the pelvis that begin as continuations of the femoral veins and join with the internal iliac veins to form the common iliac veins. The word iliac refers to the ilium, the superior part of the pelvic bone. They drain the anterior portion of the lower abdominal wall, external genitals, and lower limbs. The internal iliac veins begin near the superior portion of the greater sciatic notch of the pelvic bone and run medially to empty into the common iliac veins. They drain the muscles of the pelvic wall and gluteal region, pelvic viscera, and external genitals. The common iliac veins are deep veins formed by the union of the external and internal iliacs near the sacroiliac joints. The common iliacs then merge to form the inferior vena cava, beginning near the fifth lumbar vertebra, which then empties into the right atrium of the heart. 
The common iliacs drain the pelvis, external genitals, and lower limbs. The superficial veins of the lower limbs begin with the dorsal digital veins, which drain blood from the toes, and then merge into the dorsal metatarsal veins, which run alongside the metatarsal bones of the foot. The dorsal metatarsals merge into the dorsal venous arch. These are networks of veins that enter into the dorsum or top of the foot. The great saphenous veins are the longest veins in the body, ascending through the entire medial aspect of the leg just below the skin, from the dorsal venous arches of the foot to the groin. These superficial veins, the name saphenous means clearly visible, empty into the femoral veins at the groin. The great saphenous veins drain the skin and superficial muscles of the lower limbs, groin, and lower abdominal wall. The last of the superficial veins are the small saphenous veins. They begin at the lateral aspect of the dorsal venous arches of the foot and descend below the skin along the posterior aspect of the leg. They empty into the popliteal veins posterior to the knee. The small saphenous veins drain the skin and superficial muscles of the foot and the posterior aspect of the leg.